and um, lots to show you. Shall we dive in? Should we just dive in and see what we have for you? We're going to start off with P and O. Now this is a fabulous cruise, of course. Seven night Norwegian fjords. I know our lovely Sean Ryan has been on them. The Norwegian fjords absolutely loved it as well. This is the Azure as well, Keith. Yeah, this is, and um, this is absolutely fantastic. I mean, obviously P and O. 175 years they've been they've been running, uh, offering people a chance to go and have a flavour of the world. And not only that now, but they offer you a flavour of fantastic food on board. A lot of uh, the UK's biggest culinary names are involved with P&O cruises. People like Marco Pierre White with his white room on board. You've got people like um, Ollie Smith who does the wines. You've got Atul Kutcher with his wonderful kind of flavours of the East. There's a really good selection of bars on board as well. And this particular ship that you're going to get a chance to go on to Azura is one of P&O's biggest ships. So it was launched actually in 2010 by, by Darcy Bustle. Oh, famous uh, yes, ballet dancer. Of course, yes. And it's funny I mention that, of course, because she's involved with Strictly. Indeed. Another thing they do at PO is they do the Strictly cruises. People like Len Goodman uh, come on board and oh, they hold fabulous. some of the heats on board the ship. Oh, so they have a great focus that. on entertainment, they mm. have a great focus on relaxation. Uh, really, really friendly cruise line. And you've got the kind of West End style shows every night in the theatre. And remember, this is the thing about cruising everything is included. So you're going to see a shows every night, you can go and see game shows, live music, have food, really good quality food, like I was just enjoying there. And see amazing places all the way around the world and you unpack only once. Yes, exactly. Now, we have got a beautiful cruise for you here and an exclusive gift, by the way, on this one also. We'll talk about that a bit later on. We are starting off in Southampton, as Keith said, of course, and only unpacking once, which is fantastic. And um, we have got so much to show you in here, of course, and we're going to start off with that relaxing day at sea after boarding. Can I just so. say as well that if you do take your kids for P&O, they have people like Noddy and Big Ears and Mr. Great. Bump. Coming yeah. to say hello, which I think is brilliant. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Noddy. I was going to say for the big kids and the little kids. And exactly. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Shall we start off? We've gone from Southampton. We've got a relaxing day at sea. So let's take a look at our fabulous destinations. Okay. So yes. So heading off from Southampton, no worries about luggage restrictions there. Take as many pairs of shoes, Genevieve, or handbags as you like. Thank Ball you. dresses galore. Uh, for me, it would be <laughs> lots of different socks. And uh, and then of course, relaxing day at sea to enjoy that wonderful ship before you head over to the fjords. And the best way to experience Norway is via the deck of a boat by exploring and this is great Bergen is your first chance uh, it's a beautifully quaint town with an old Hanseate wharf with these tall narrow buildings and variety of different warming colors it's an ESCO protected it's great to wander around there you can also do a wonderful thing where you actually take the funicular an old funicular up to Mount Florian which gives you amazing views of the various uh, areas around the fjords you're getting an idea now of some of the imagery just general imagery around Norway of what you're going to see not only when you're in port but when you're sailing but the other great thing about Bergen as well is that you can walk back down from Mount, Fly Mount Floyan and experience this incredible fish market. Uh, and I definitely would say get some get, get some tasty fish there and enjoy yeah. some of the shellfish particularly. Okay, then you're heading off to your next port. This is one of the two UNESCO protected fjords in the whole of Norway, Geranga Fjord. It is stunning. It's hard to imagine. And again, none of the photos that we show you here, nothing I can say can possibly compare to actually being there, to being that ship. You see the ship down there? Yes. Oh Going my past, word. look how small it is. The, the waterfall is <laughs> on the side there, the Seven Sisters. And you've got the yes. super waterfall opposite, trying to get a look in. There's the Seven Sisters. It's an incredible experience. And literally, you, you feel so small. You really do wonder at the size of creation as you wander yeah. into this amazing fjord and all you'll want to do is sit there with a cup of coffee or possibly a cup of tea or a cocktail and take it all in you won't want to sleep Look you won't want to do anything else but just adore this wonderful yes. view you can climb up there Mount Dosnilba which you could see in the corner there for amazing views it's nearly 5,000 foot high and you can also go out onto the Eagle Road Bend which again gives you extraordinary views it's all about the view here okay then we're going to Flom mm -hmm. translated it means the little place between steep mountains and it's set in the Song of Fjord which is the world's longest and deepest fjord um, it's incredible. Again, you've got amazing uh, views for you to enjoy. Little farms clean to the side of these cliffs. You can ride here on the world's steepest railway along uh, really sharp bends and through cliff tunnels. Uh, you can also adventure into the White Caves of Goodvangen where they have classical music uh, and a massive light show going on for you. And you can go and enjoy the goat's cheese at Underdale where they have uh, 200 goats and three Norwegians. It's a good balance. <laughs> um, okay, now from there you then go through to Stavanger. Now Stavanger yes. is your final port of call. It's a sophisticated little city and it thrives on a patchwork of heather covered hills this is a museum city this is where you wait to do all your shopping um, it's brilliant you've got a jar beaches nearby 12 miles of, of a secluded beautiful beaches that just stretch off you've also got a chance here to say to go to the, the petroleum museum 
and also the Norwegian Canning Museum are my two big recommendations. You might say, Keith, you're crazy. Go and do them. Sean did, and he came back and said, Keith, it was oh, brilliant. He loved it, didn't he? Yeah. He really did. Mm. And the other big thing here is you can go out to, what we're going to see an image in a minute of called the Troll's Tongue. Here it is. You can cruise down there, and you can be that person sitting on the edge of a Troll's Tongue. Um, it's wow. an amazing experience. Not for the faint-hearted, but definitely worth doing. <laughs> it amazing is absolutely cruise. fantastic. Um, you have, of course, another relaxing day at sea and uh, back to Southampton. What a lovely cruise in those fjords. I know Sean highly recommended these. Um, now, you have got, of course, this amazing... We are on the Azure, of course, amazing Azure there. We're seeing some beautiful images here. We are. And remember, the first six people to call in for this get a free pair of binoculars. I know. So I the mean, first six people and, to and look for what the what cruise for the binoculars? Because yeah. there is so much to see. Literally, at any one time, you're, you, you know, it's not just when you're in port. You are sailing for past beautiful mountains, waterfalls. There's wildlife, there's whales, there's, there's dolphins, all sorts in the water yep. and around you to experience as well and then inside the ship look at this <gasps> the beautiful food that's just in the main dining room let alone the speciality restaurants of which there are numerous ones that you can book and go and enjoy and that amazing entertainment in the theater now we've got loads to tell you about this first of all a great price on this 599 pounds per person can you believe that price and um, it's going to be a very very busy show today mm. that's under 89 pounds per person per night your exclusive free gift now that is for the first six bookings made from this show and the Mion Valley as well which I think is a great idea yeah isn't it? it's really good it's a half price deal that we have ongoing with the Mion Valley um, and I definitely would get involved with this because this is your chance to start your holiday a day early have your parking included because you leave it at the hotel mm -hmm. and then get a chauffeur transfer to the port and back taking that stress out of arriving oh, at the ship yes. and coming back you know so I really would recommend it Southampton sometimes can get a little bit busy when you're arriving there with all the traffic mm -hmm. let someone else do the driving sit back and relax and enjoy the Mion Valley Marriott. Look now, at the family four price. I was just going to say that about the family of four as well. Great price on that also for that family of four. And your deposit only £50 per person. So this obviously going to be a very, very busy one. If you do want to take a look at that, of course, you can call now at 0800 781 5458. All the different prices there, of course. And if you want to, oh, you can go to a balcony with those binoculars. Yes.